Can you check to see if the live feed's working? Fumble up on the snap. It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be tech knocked out of the end zone. It's either going to be a safety. Yeah, it's going to be a safety. Let me see your phone. Okay, we're back live. Sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, we're back live. Sorry. I tried to rely on the school website, web or internet again, and give me in the you know where again so we should be back and ready to roll in the meantime Columbine scored another touchdown and then you may have just saw that Colum or Fort Collins fumbled the punt and then got a safety so it's 16 nothing Columbine right now with 725 left until the end of the first quarter hopefully the sun goes down here in a little bit Four Collins will kick off from the 20 because it was a safety. We've had better starts. Let me, let's just be honest. Four Collins is missing a couple starters. Looks like Levi Hermson's on the sidelines with no pads on. Same with Joel Lopez. There's a squib kick. It's going to bounce all the way down to the 40-yard line. Takes the ball. It's going to be knocked down at about the 48-yard line. So that's where Columbine will take over first and ten. Seven twenty left in the first quarter. Sixteen to nothing is your score. Here comes Columbine with their. Well, they got a re couple receivers out there right now. What's going on here? Two back, two backs, and they receive two receivers. It's going to pass. Screen pass leads him. He's at the 50, 45, knocked down right there. Good play by Nolan McDowell. Gain a five for the Columbine. Second and five from the 45 yard line of the Lampkins. Columbine's formidable, and we're not playing very well. So the combination is a little bit tough tonight. See if the defense can stand up here and get him off the field, though. Columbine comes out in the same formation. Two receivers, two backs. Quarterback takes the snap. Everybody moved but the center. It should be a motion penalty on, for, or on uh, Columbine and back him up five yards. They'll bring up second and ten for right at the 50-yard line. I'm pretty sure everybody on the whole offensive line and receivers and everybody else moved, but the center didn't snap the ball. So that's a problem. Benefits the Lampkins in the way of five yards, second and ten. Combine comes out in the same formation. Takes the snap, hands it up to the gut. He's got a lane. Fighting for yards, he's going to gain about nine. It's going to be. Oh, they're going to mark him. Eight yards to bring up second and or third and two from the 42-yard line. Last day of summer here in Colorado, down in Lakewood area. It's about 80 degrees. It feels a little bit like summer since we're sitting right in the sun. Takes a snap, eventually, allegedly. Hands up to gut this time. First and ten, he got about, needed two, got about four. He's going to bring up first and ten on the lamp in. 37. Host of Lampkins tackled him on that one, led by Ben Rios. So they came out and did a screen pass, and then they ran two right up the gut. Let's see what happens here. They're going to have trips on, or no, they're going to have twins on the left of the quarterback, nobody on the right. 
Let's see if they're setting them up to run right. There's nobody outside the right set. Right hash of four four columns. If they run right, they could go forever. But they're gonna go up the gut. Quarterback keeper. And he's gonna run forever. They did they fell for the fake. And the quarterback went thirty seven yards straight up the gut. Just wait to see what happens on the extra point. Combine comes out for the extra point. Snap is down. Kick is up and right down the middle. It'll be 4.50 until the end of the first quarter. It is Columbine 23, Fort Collins 0. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. Fort Collins will receive again. Receive the kickoff. In case you wonder if 40 points is the mercy rule in Colorado. And Columbine is halfway there. More than half, unfortunately. But we'll continue to fight. Kick is going to be fielded by Price at about the 12 yard line. He cuts it up. Runs into a crowd and goes down at about the 25-yard line. We're going to call it first and 10 on the Rebel 26-yard line. Lampkins come out for their fourth possession. See if they can make some hay here. Looks like Nick Arizaga is going to be a running back tonight for this possession. Granados is coming in on the left side for as the wide receiver. Cunningham's going to go right with Morales. And we have trips to the right. Single on the left. Arizaga takes it, cuts up, has a bit of a lane, gets closed down. It's going to be gain of about three, maybe four yards. Then you mark it down at the 30, so it'll be second and six. 4.30 left in the first quarter. The clock runs. They're calling it the 29, but it looks like the 30 from here. We're going to split hairs, but hopefully the sun goes down underneath this cloud here and we'll be able to see a little bit better pretty quick. Four Collins has trips. Here comes Marco. DeMarco is in motion. Takes a snap. It's going to be a fake handoff. He's going to roll right. Fires it out there. Looking for Morales. That's over his head. Incomplete. So it'll bring up third and seven with three... 56 left in the first quarter. Just need a first down here. Sun's starting to go down behind the cloud. Give us a momentary relief, which is nice. Lampkins can ill afford to give the ball back on a three and out. Takes a snap, looking right. Fires out there, has Cottingham. He's going to be hit. Stacked up. He's going to be right at the first down marker. Let's see if they give it to him. And it's enough for a first down. Gain of about eight. So that's good. Lampkin's initial first down of the game. Rough sledding in there. Columbine's no joke on defense as they are on offense. Currently ranked number three in 5A. There are no slouches out there at all in any way, shape, or form. So the Lampkins get a first down. 325 left till the end of the first quarter. Cranford takes a snap. We have a whistle. Whistle blows it dead. We have Columbine calls timeout. So with 321 left in the first quarter, it is Columbine 23, 4 column 0. And we have a timeout on the field. So Fort Collins is going to have to take some baby steps here. They got their first first down. 
Hopefully that gives them a little bit of confidence on their offensive side. Get the ball rolling. Like I said before, there's several offensive starters out tonight for one reason or another. A couple of key guys in the way of Levi Hermson and Joe Lopez for the offense. Both play big minutes as wide receivers. But it's next man up, so we're definitely doing that tonight. First and 10, Lampkins. 36-yard line to the Rebels. Cranford takes, looks over his trips to the left. DeMarco comes in motion. Looking for Cottingham on a screen. Gets, gets catch, gets stacked up. He's going to gain about four yards, maybe. See what they call it. Should be second and six from about the 40. It is, in fact, second and six from the 40. Four-yard gain. Three minutes left till the end of the first quarter. Clock runs. Twins to the left. Single man on the right. Or I'm sorry, flip-flop that. Twins to the right. Single man on the left. Fake handoff. Looking for DeMarco. Slipping out. He catches it. He's going to gain about a yard, maybe two yards. Short gain, but it'll bring up third and short. Should be about third and five. From the 41 yard line. See if the Lampkins can get another first down to keep the drive rolling. It's the sun's emerging from the clouds, unfortunately. But it's getting lower, so it should be out of here pretty soon. Cranford has an up man, DeMarco. Arizaga in the backfield. Changing the play. Takes the snap, looking left, looking for Granados. It's broken up and incomplete. So Granados couldn't come up with it. That'll bring up fourth down and five from the 41 yard line. The Lampkins look like they're going to punt. And they got a new punter out there. One fifty four left till the end of the first quarter. See if Four Counts can get off a decent punt here. Combine looks like they're going to come at it. They do. He gets it off. It's a decent punt. Drives him back. It's over, it's over his head. It's going to bounce. It's going to roll down to about the five. Maybe even. Nice punt. So that's good. Let's we'll see where they mark it down. I can't see from here, but. Inside the five, I think. It's on about the two-yard line. So first and ten, Combine takes over on their own two. It's a solid punt. I'm not sure who 85 is. But we'll take a look. Got off a good one over his head. Kind of surprised him. Before Collins takes over, or Columbine takes over. They're waiting for a player or a play. Here he comes. They were missing a lineman. They may get a delay here because there's, or they're going to take a timeout. They do. They take a timeout. The play clock was running out. Second timeout for Columbine in the first quarter, even though they're up by 23. One forty-two left till the end of the first. Columbine in firm control of this game at this point. They've had some big plays already. See if the defense can rise up and make them work a little bit. Give the offense a little bit of a break on the sidelines. Get the ball back in decent field position. That would be the hope. And we're ready for some football. Combine breaks huddle. See if we can. Okay, here we go. They call the play. Quarterback takes the snap. 
pitch right. He turns a corner. He's got a lane, and this is all the way gone. He's going to go 98 yards. Well, that's not good. One play, 98 yards. Columbine, let's see if there's a flag. Doesn't look like there's any flags, unfortunately. Yeah, that was rough. Just what you did want to see happen, happened. Columbine takes one play, one pitch, 98-yard touchdown run. Brings up a 29 to nothing. We're still in the first quarter. Thank you, sir, Mr. Anilis. Got some new software tonight, trying it out. Hopefully it works a little bit better. If the sun wasn't in our eyes, we'd probably have a pretty decent shot. But it'll go down soon, I hope. Extra point, snap is down, kick is up, and is it going to be good? It'll bring the score with 126 left in the first quarter, combined 30. Well, there's a flag. Hold on. Let's see what the call is. Looks like it's going to be on four columns. At least that's what Columbine thinks. Okay, so not sure I've ever seen this before. They had two personal fouls, one on each team, offsetting penalties, but they counted the extra point. I thought that was always a replay of the down, but maybe I'm wrong on an extra point. Either way, they're not going to kick the extra point again. They're just going to kick off from the 40-yard line and call the extra point good. But maybe it's a rule I don't know about, but I thought for sure offsetting penalties may replay the down. Either way, it's not what they called, and we're going to have a kickoff. Joe Cunningham goes deep for the Lampkins on the first time all year. He's going to return a kick if they can get it all the way out to him. Here comes the kick. It's going to be fielded by Cunningham at about the four-yard line. Looks for a lane. Cuts back. Going to be hit down. And Lampkins will take over first and ten at about the 24-yard line. One eighteen left in the first quarter. The sun's barely over the press box. It should go down here in a second. So first and ten from the 24-yard line. Four Collins comes out with trips on each side of the quarterback. Morales comes in motion. Looking for the screen. He has it. Checks up. Positive yards. It's going to be a gain of about four, maybe five yard line. I mean, four, maybe five yards. Let's see where they mark it. Gain of only three. I thought it was more than that. Second and seven for this 27. Same formation. Quick pitch, quick hitter to Cunningham. He gets knocked down. He's right at the first down marker. So it's a gain of six. Bring up third and one from the 33-yard line. So third down. The clock's running. There's 45 seconds left in the quarter. Cranford gets the play. Runs it in. I think Kevin Lozano is in the backfield with him. Hand up up the gut. First down for Collins. Kevin Lozano it is. Gains about four yards. First down, Lampkins. It's probably in the first quarter unless they get a foot play in real quick, but I don't think they're going to. He brings it in. The clock runs with 15 seconds. They may get it off. We'll see. It'll be close. Trips to the right. Little bunch set. 
Five seconds. He might get it off. He does. Quick pass out to Cottingham. Breaks a tackle. That's the end of the first quarter. Gain of about eight. So we'll flip sides. At the end of the first quarter, it is Columbine Rebels. 30. Or Collins Lampkin, zero. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. So coming out of the break, it'll be Lampkin ball. Second and one on the 45-yard line. After a quick gain of nine by Cottingham. Their best play so far is to try to get it out to him and see what he can do.
Takes a snap. Looking left, looking right. Throws it away. Since my audio went out. Turn that all the way up and see if you can hear me. Takes a snap. Screen played in the middle. It's going to be caught. Flag on the play. Lozano's going to get down to about the one-yard line. Can't hear me? I don't know if the flag is going to be a roughing the passer again or if it's a hold or we'll see in a second. But Fort Collins got all the way down there. Holding on the offense. That'll back him up 10 yards. They'll bring the ball back to the 21. It'll bring up fourth and or third and about. Looks like it's going to be about 18 yards. They're going to have to get down to three. 8:45 left until halftime. Sun's down. It's a beautiful night in Lakewood, Colorado. See if the Lanterns can get on the board here. Cranford takes a snap, looking right. As a man caught, Justin Morales is going to be knocked down at about the nine-yard line. It'll be short of the first down, but it'll be fourth down and less. Probably fourth and about six. So a solid gain of about 12 on that play, maybe 13 yards. Four Collins will go for it. Fourth and about seven from right at the 10 yard line. Trips to the left, cutting him to the right. Takes a snap, looking left, rolls, pressure, he's going to be sacked. There'll be a turnover on downs, unfortunately. Combine gets him off the field. Lampkins had a, mounted a serious drive there, threatened for some points, and it stalled right at the end. So it'll be first and ten Combine from the four Collins, or from their, their own 22. 7.49 left in the second quarter till halftime. It is combine 30, four count zero. Don't need to give up a big play here. Let's see if they can contain him a little bit. Takes a snap, hands off to the far back. He cuts it up. Has a lane, and he could go. Jack McKeon may catch him at the end here. Let's see if he can catch him. And doesn't. So one more play for Columbine goes 78 yards. So the last two plays have been runs of 98 and 78 for touchdowns. No flags on the play. That runs the Columbine score to 36 with the extra point attempt uh, ensuing. Four Collins has no ability to stop the run against Columbine. They're Linemen are too big and can blow us off the ball, and the running backs are quick and we can't catch them. It's a bad combination. Combine's awful good, though. Fumbles a snap. It's going to be knocked down. It's going to be no extra point. So a 7.31 left in the second quarter. Columbine 36, 4 column 0. Kickoff to ensue. And once again, Colorado rules. If you're up by 40 at any point during the game, the game is essentially over and the clock runs. We're four points away from that. But the Lampkins had a nice drive last time and almost got on the board. So let's see if they can mount another drive. Four Collins sends Cunningham deep with Trenton Price. 
One thing you know about Fort Collins, it doesn't matter what the score is, they aren't going to give up. Here comes the kickoff. Good kick. It's going to be fielded by Cottingham at about the five, maybe the four-yard line. It's getting closed down real quick. He makes some moves, run for his life. But I don't think anybody got a block on him. Very many people there. But that's all right. Cunningham gets knocked down. It's going to be first and 10 from the maybe the 18. I can't tell from here. See where they mark it. Looks like it's going to be 17 yard line. So let's see if the Lampkins can mount another drive here. Big play would be nice to match their big plays. Twins on each side of the quarterback. Looks like Gerardo Rivas is going to be running back for the series. 7.23 until half. Justine comes in motion. Hand off up the gut. Rivas has the lane. Cuts back. Knife into the defense. Should, should be a gain of 11 for a first down. Lampkins. Nice run. Put his foot in the ground and went. That's how you do it. Running hard in there. Same play, maybe? It is. Revis again makes A. It's going to be a gain of about seven. Bring up second and three from the 35 yard line. Lampkins are getting a good push up front. I think that the Rebels have maybe brought in some second and third string guys. That's okay. We still got to beat them. Cranford takes a snap. Looking for Cunningham over the middle. It's intercepted. And let's see if they can get him down. They're going to knock him down at about the... It'll be first and ten from the 24-yard line of the Lampkins. Thought he had Cunningham open, but he cut him off. Safety makes a nice play. Illegal block below the waist is a penalty on Fort Collins. It's going to move the ball even deeper into their own territory. Columbine's going to take over. Oh, they're going to be down at about the 15, maybe. It'll be 15-yard line, first and 10 Columbine. If they score here, the game's essentially over, and the clock will run for the rest of the game. Shout out to Ryan Little out there. Watching all the way over in Scotland tonight. It's probably morning over there. I don't know, 2, 3 in the morning. Appreciate you tuning in from half of the way across the world. See if we can get some points off there. See if we can get the turnover here. Oh, this guy's fighting like crazy. Then I can stack him up. It's going to be a gain of about 6 yards. It's going to be second and 4. Six fourteen left until halftime. Second and three from the seven yard line. Let's see if we can keep him out of the end zone. If we could keep him holding to a field goal, we'd still be within that you know, forty points, we'd be less than that, so I'm gonna pass again, which is curious. It's gonna be called for a touchdown. Not sure why you're passing with when you're up thirty six points. But good for them. Touchdown, or touchdown, Columbine is going to set the running clock in motion. This game's essentially over. Six minutes till halftime. Columbine 42, four count zero, extra point on the way. But the clock will run for the rest of the game. So Columbine makes quick work at the Lampkins tonight, unfortunately. Looked like you missed it. Oh, it snuck in there. <laughs> Brian, over, Mr. Little over there in Scotland is watching at 1.50 in the morning. Dedication right there. 
See if his son, number thirty, oh, number 99, Luke, can make some big plays out here for us. Timeout on the field. 5.18 left until halftime. Columbine 43, 4 Column 0. So, once they come out of the timeout, the clock will then run. And it'll be a quick second half, if nothing else. Beautiful night, though. We'll enjoy the evening. I don't know if you can see the mountains in the background. Sun finally went down. It's pretty nice here. Temperature's cool, but not too cool. It's hot at the beginning of the game. Jack McGuire on the camera tonight. Showing some promise with this camera angles, allegedly. So Columbine kicks off. And we have a different man in the back. Let's see who's returning the kick. Can't tell his number from here. Boots it. That's going to be fielded at about the five-yard line. Cuts it back. He's going to be hit down at about the 15-yard line. Took a hit. Comes up a little gimpy. Kind of took a shot to the leg there. Not what you want to see on a tough night for the Lampkins. Jack McKinn checks in at the backfield for the Lampkins. Looks like Columbine has quite a few JV players out there right now. First, second stringers, which is fine. Lampkins can make some hay against them. Crafter takes a snap, looking left. Feels the pressure, he runs, slides down. Gain of a couple. Well, maybe gain of gain of about four to bring up second and six. Second and six from the 19-yard line. Clock runs. Four minutes left until halftime. Griffin takes a snap. Looking left for Cunningham. No, DeMarco. Nice play. He's going to have the first down. Needed six. Got seven. First and ten Lampkins. Nice play. I thought they were going to try to throw it to Cunningham. Yeah, but he just cleared his guy and DeMarco came out from underneath and caught the ball. Nice play. Nice pass. Him right in stride. And here we go with Twins. We're going to... Trips to the left, twins to the right. Let's see if McKean comes in motion and goes back into the backfield. He does not. He goes out for a pass. Looking left, pump fakes. He's going to run. Stiff arms. Stiff arms again. And he gets knocked down. It's going to be a gain of about six or seven. Let's see what they call it. Gain of six. It's going to be second and four. Four columns on the 34-yard line with three minutes left until halftime. Columbine up by 43, which means the running clock. Game is essentially over. But we're playing for pride. Lampkins don't give up. Cranford takes a snap. Hand off up the gut. He's got a lane. McKean cuts back. Great run. He's going to have a gain of about 18. Oh, I'm sorry, it won't be that much, but it'll be gain of about 15. Gain of 14. Nice play. Showed some shiftiness in his legs there. Crazy legs back there. Cranford takes a snap, looking for Cottingham. Has him. Caught. It's going to be short of the first down, but it'll be right at the marker. We're going to second and one from the... 38-yard line. Quick hitter. Positive yards. That's all you can ask for. 150 left until halftime. Lampkins are up against the clock here because the clock's running. It doesn't stop. Whistle. Not sure what happened. We don't have a flag. Columbine may have called timeout. No, they may have an injured player on the field. 
Safety looks like he's on his knees with his helmet off. He doesn't look like he's feeling so great. So in, injury timeout, 141 left until half. Tough night for the Lampkins. Beautiful night weather-wise. Even though the Lampkins are down, it's still good to get out and watch some football. Hopefully the young man from Combine's all right. He's up on his feet, walking off under his own power, and he looks like he's going to be okay. So Lampkins with 141 left until halftime have the ball. On the Rebel 44-yard line. To wind the clock when they set the ball down. And they wind the clock. Lampkins are going to be up against the time here unless they get a chunk play. Takes a snap. Looking right. That's to Marco. That's got to be interference. It will be. Flags flying like... Oh, we have two flags now. So we're going to get... I think Fort Collins is going to get a uh, personal foul from one of the linemen. Hopefully it's on Columbine, but definitely going to be interference on Columbine. But I do believe that we have some extracurricular activities going on, and somebody from Fort Collins is going to get a penalty. Fort Collins calls timeout. Their referees are going to sort out what happened. That's interference. We knew about that one. So we have a penalty on the four Collins. Ben Hopper threw a punch and has been kicked out of the contest. His night is over. So we had Defensive interference by Columbine, and then a fight with a punch and an ejection. A little offset. So Hopper takes a seat. Frustration. Got the better of him. It'll be second and one still from the 44-yard line. Penalty's offset, so we'll replay the down. Due to the penalty, the clock stopped. Cranford takes the pass. He's going to look long. He's going to break it off. DeMarco wide open. Caught. Knocked down at about the 26-yard line. First and 10 Lampkins. Clock runs. One minute left until halftime. First and 10 on the 26. Trips left. Takes a snap looking left. Got Morales if he wants him. It could be intercepted. And it is. And it will be a touchback. So another, another drive stalled by an interception. And that will be it for the first half. There's 30 seconds left until halftime. And Columbine will essentially let this run. I guarantee it. I pretty much guarantee it. Let's say you get greedy and want to do one play. So Columbine will take over at the 20 if they get a playoff. Looks like they're just going to wait. Yeah. So that'll be the end of the first half. Your score at halftime. Columbine Rebels 43. Four Collins Lampkins 0. You're watching the Lampkins Sports Network. We'll take a little bit of a break and be right back.
You have to go all the way over there.
halftime here of the Lampkins game between Fort Collins and Columbine. 43 to nothing. We'll have a run, running clock in the second half. We'll see how much pride the Lampkins can play with here coming down the stretch. I'm sure they'll have plenty to play for. Every chance is an opportunity to work on their plays, work to get better, get ready for the next season. Or not next season, next week. Fort Collins started out with an absolutely brutal schedule. Ponderosa was ranked in 4A, and don't they still are. Then we played Mountain Vista, who's pushing top 10 in 5A. Next game we played Windsor, which we had an opportunity to win that at the end, but missed the field goal, and that's okay. But they're ranked at last check, 8th and 4A. Then we played Cherokee Trail and absolutely had that game won last week, but had an unfortunate fumble at the end of the game and lost 35-31. And tonight they're playing the number three ranked Combine Rebels. And it's pretty much over. 43 to nothing. But when the Lampkins get into conference play, there's winnable games coming up. So they can use the experience tonight to work on what they're going to do the rest of the season. Definitely some building blocks going forward and the young kids who are out there, the sophomores and juniors who are out there are getting valuable experience and can apply that towards the rest of the season and then get a jump start on next season. The Lampkins are not without talent. Just need to shore up a couple things and they'll be okay, but there's not a whole lot of teams in Colorado who are going to play with Columbine. I can tell you that right now. You got some big offensive linemen, and the running backs are fast. And they don't go they don't go down easily. They're they're a powerhouse like they always are, and they'll be right there at the end of the year. I suspect they'll be they'll make the final four at least, maybe in the championship game, depending on their draw in the playoff seedings as it comes down the stretch. Four Collins, on the other hand, will use the last five games to. Uh, Build for next year, get some experience, go out on a high note this year. Like I said, there's definitely winnable games on the schedule, especially when you're looking at city games. We should be right there with anything that Rocky's going to bring, or Pooter, or Fossil Ridge. Between those three teams, I think there's two wins. I think there's the traditional four high schools in Fort Collins. I think there's Rocky has one win. Fossil Ridge won last week. And we have that one, of course, and I don't believe Pooters won a game either. So of the four traditional high schools, there is two wins among all four. So the city's wide open, and I think Fort Collins can make a run at it. The only game that's going to be tough coming down the stretch is going to be Fairview. They're a pretty solid team. They come to Fort Collins, and I think we play them at Timnath. I'm not sure if it's at Timnath or if it's at Rocky, but that'll be a tough game. Um, but the last four, you're talking the city teams, and then when you play Boulder High School the last game of the year, those are all winnable games. So if we start out 0-5, which we obviously are tonight because this is a loss, because it'll be running clock, but we make a run it the last five games. You're building momentum for next year. Don't want to give up on anybody this year, but that's kind of where we're at. So build on what you got this year and start preparing for next year just a little bit. But these seniors have worked hard and they deserve to go out on a high note as well. If nothing else, the team next year will have a lot of experience coming back, which is exactly what they didn't have this year. Plus a couple of injuries tonight didn't help. Two of their main weapons on offense, Lopez and Hermanson, are both out.
Tough night to be a Lampkin fan, but Columbine's the real deal. They were playing a fair amount of their second stringers coming out of the uh, first quarter, and they're still their second stringers are pretty darn good. So they don't drop off a ton at the end of the at the end of the day when they start putting in their reserves. Like I said, they'll be right there at the end of the year. Depending on how the playoff seedings shake out, they'll be top six, top four, top two. You never know. I know that it's going to be tough for anybody to hang with Cherry Creek this year. Pine Creek's a pretty solid team. Ralston Valley's pretty solid. And Columbine's solid. Bomb Vista, who we played, has a pretty darn good team. So we'll see if they can make any kind of a run. But the, the non-conference schedule for the Lampkins did not do us any favors to start the year. So we'll build for the second half of the year and see if we can finish strong. Here come the Rebels and the Lampkins coming out at about, just about the same time. About a minute and 40 until they get warmed up. They may put a few minutes back on the clock just to make sure they're fully warmed up and ready to roll. So on the positive side of life, you got to take the good with the bad. We knew it was going to be a tough night. The defense is having a hard time stopping the run. Gave up multiple big plays. Well, I don't know that Combine had very many drives over five or six plays. A couple of them just were one play, which were long gains for touchdowns. One was a 78-yard pitch and scamper. And they also had a 98-yard handoff and go. So, tough night to be a defender for the Lampkins. Not a great night to be in if offense either. They don't have any points. But they've been able to drive the ball down a few times. So at the end of the day, the Lampkins are going to have some positive yardage on offense. They just won't have anything to show for it. And three picks at halftime by the quarterback doesn't help. But like I said, Combine's the real deal. And he got maybe duped into a couple of those by some experienced Columbine defenders. So nothing to hang your head about. You're playing a very good team. Taking it on the chin a little bit, but here's the time to grow and get some more experience. Clock resets to three minutes before the end of the half. Columbine looks ready. Four counts still warming up. I do believe that Columbine won the toss and has, had deferred to the second half, so they'll get the kick and possession first as we start the second half here in a few minutes. Just a beautiful night here at Jeffco Stadium in Lakewood, Colorado. It's starting to cool off. A little bit of a breeze. I can handle this. What else are you going to do on a Thursday night? If you're out there joining us, I appreciate you tuning in. If you like what you hear, subscribe. Making a push towards 500 subscribers. About 140 short of that right now. 500 to goal. We're almost there. You know somebody? Send them our information. Tell them we got a great broadcast here.
Hopefully we worked out most of the software issues. It looks like it's running pretty well now. Learned my lesson on using school Wi-Fi. We'll just go with my own Wi-Fi from here on out. And hopefully it'll clean up some of the errors that we had the first couple of games. So anyway, just about ready to start the second half. And Columbine will receive. I suspect they'll have a lot of their second stringers out there, which is fine. So Lopez is out tonight. New kicker out there, number 35. Didn't see a program, so I'm not exactly sure who that is, but he kicks it away. Little squib. Hits a combine player. Pops up. Four columns make it on top of this. See what happens when they sort out the big, massive pile. There's a lot more Lampkins on that ball than there were Columbine Rebels. Let's see what happens. Columbine got on it somehow. So they'll have the ball first and 10 and about the 39, 40-yard line. Let's see where they're right at the 40-yard line. So Combine takes over. Clock runs. Running clock the second half if you're just tuning in. They come out with their similar set, two backs, power offense, end up to the deep man, cuts up, spun, initially knocked down by Lincoln Worthen, then pushed back by a host of Lampkins. It's going to be, with, for progress, it's going to be a gain of about three. They'll bring up second and seven, right at the 43-yard line. Columbine looks like they have most of their second string. Definitely a second string quarterback. Looks like the running backs are all second string. This is where we make hay. Force a turnover. Get some good experience. Get ready for that JV game on Saturday. Lampkin splits. It's going to be a pass. Cuts back. Breaks the tackle. Push forward. Give me a gain of about... Ooh. He is six, maybe. To bring up third and one from about the 49-yard line. So, third and one, Mr. Anilis. Like that you're watching on the big screen. When I watch the replay on my big screen, it looks pretty sweet. Hopefully tonight, I obviously will check out tonight's broadcast on the big screen when I get home, but glad it's coming in good tonight. Third and one. Quarterback takes a snap, pitches it. He's going to have enough for a first and more. Tries to seal the edge. He has the corner. He's going to gain of about gain of about 20. Let's see where they mark it. We do have a flag on the play. We'll check out the flag. The white hat guys got a, we got a hold on Columbine. So that'll back him up. Not sure where the spot of the foul was. So we'll see what it does for. To bring up third and one again. So it's so what happens on a hold is a spot foul. It's 10 yards from where the penalty occurred, so it must have occurred down the field a little ways. Backs him up. It's going to be third and one again. Eight fifty until the end of the third. This is Columbine second string. They still got some big boys on that line. I will tell you that from here. Takes a snap, hands off to the first man through. It's going to be enough for a first down. And so 
Looked like Ben Rios got in there with Aaron Estrada. First down Columbine. Needed one, they got about three. They're in Lampkin territory on the 48 yard line. Yeah, they got some big dudes up there. They mean I can't tell how tall they are from here, but they're pretty thick up there, even if it is their second string. Quarterback calls out the cadence, takes a snap, hands the second guy through, cuts back, knocked down by Caden Souders. Tried to go night train lane on him and get tackled by the head, but held on for dear life and knocked him down after a gain of maybe maybe a gain of four or five. Should bring up let's see, gain of they only gave him three, they didn't mark him further back than I thought. So it'll be second and about seven from the 45 yard line. 7.30 until the end of the third quarter. Columbine could turn this all the way out the whole quarter, possibly. Unless they break a big play or they turn the ball over. Lampkins are going to rise up here, though. Takes a snap. Fakes. Pass. It's going to be intercepted. Oh, he dropped it. Great effort by Four Collins. Eric Gillette almost came up with the big play. Had it right at his fingertips. But it's the left-handed guy throwing the ball. Those lefties throw screwballs anyway. You can't catch those passes. Plus they're at 43 and throwing the ball. It's a nice play by Fort Collins. Bring up third and about seven. Takes a snap. Pitch. Can turn it up the field. 11 up for the first down, a little bit more. A big gain of about 10 yards. Being a first down from the Fort Collins 35 yard line. Clock runs just under six minutes until the end of the third. Clock won't stop unless there's a timeout or a penalty. Or an injury, of course. Hopefully we have none of those. Well, we could use a timeout, but we don't like penalties or injuries. Takes a snap. Pitched right. He's going to turn it up. He might go. Cuts back. He's going to walk into it. No, he's got knocked down. Fort Collins didn't give up. He got to about the one yard line. Gained a 34 on that play. Just hit down at about the one. First and goal for Columbine. So officially on the two yard line. First and goal Columbine. Five minutes left till the end of the third. Quarterback takes a snap, hands it to the second man through. He's going to get hit, knocked down, but he falls into the end zone for his touchdown, Columbine. So that'll bring the score right now to 49. With the extra point to come. Chewed up a lot of clock there. Had a lot of positive plays. Late substitution for the Lampkins. Comes the extra point. Snap down, kick is up, and right down the middle. So with 3.45 and the clock running, Columbine 50, Fort Collins 0. Tough night for the Lampkins. Taking it square on the chin. 
they're still fighting out there. You won't see anybody giving up on their left inside of the ball. So the Lampkins will get the ball back. Three minutes left till the end of the quarter. Third quarter action. Ball falls off the tee. Let's take up even more time. We're ready for kickoff. Maybe. Just thinking about it. Here he comes. Good kick. He's going to be fielded at about the five yard line, maybe the 10. Caught and turned up the field. He's going to get hit down after a gain of about eight. Lampkins are going to take over first and 10. Right at the 20. So let's see what the Lampkins can do with the ball with two minutes left until the end of the third quarter. Looks like they got their starters in. This may be their last series of the night. Flag on the play. Illegal substitution. So they give the Lampkins five yards. They'll start to the drive at the first and five from the 25 yard line. We'll take the, any kind of break we can get at this point. Playing for pride. Cranford takes a snap. He's going to hand off. Arizaga is going to be stacked up. It's going to be a gain of about two yards. It'll bring up third or second and about three. Four counts needs to 30 for the first down. Don't know if they're going to pass much or run much the second half. Or second, yeah, the second half here. They're probably going to throw the ball quite a bit because it's going to be quick. The clock's not going to stop. We're under a minute already. Takes a snap. Looking for Cottingham. He's not there. Goes over. Has Price. Big play. Spun down. It's going to be a positive gain of about 20 yards. Nice pass and catch. First and 10 Lampkins from the 49-yard line. Hit him in stride. Price fought for a couple extra yards. We're business. 22-yard gain by the Lampkins. And they're quickly in over the ball. Twins to the right of Cranford. Price all the way out to the left. Takes a snap. Looking deep. Nobody there. Now he's going to get some pressure. Find Justine over the middle. Hit down. Another gain of about 22 more yards. That'll be the end of the third quarter though. So another 22-yard gain gets the Lampkin ball down to the Rebels' 30-yard line, where they will take over first and 10. At the end of three, it's going to be Columbine 50 for column zero. So the Lampkins ran all of about three plays in that third quarter, but they hit positive yards in all three plays, so can't fault them. They're not they're not going down lightly. So we have 12 minutes till the end of the ball game. They're going to have trips to the right. Put Trent and Price to the left. Cranford in the shotgun. I think he's got Arizaga with him in the backfield. Takes a snap, looking long. Looking for Marco. Under thrown a little bit. Bring up. Second down. Second and 10 from the 30-yard line. 
Just starting the fourth quarter. You know, it'll go kind of quick. Twins right. Single to the left. H back is DeMarco. It's going to be a counter play. Hand off to Arizaga. He's got some room. He's going to run for the first down. Maybe he's He's going to be short of the first down by a couple yards, so at least bring up third and about two. Third and two from the 22. 11 minutes left in the game. See if the Lampkins decide to air it out. They have twins on each side of the quarterback. Takes the snap. Screen play to turn in price. He turns it up. Positive yards. He got the first down and more. Gain of seven. First and ten Lampkins. They could probably do that all day. Especially a gain of eight. Ball first and ten on the 14-yard line. Clock's approaching ten minutes left till the end of the game. Takes a snap. Hands off. Arizaga, it's got positive yards again. He's going to gain about six. Uh, he got more than I, or less than I thought. He got four. But still positive yards is always good. We'll take positive yards anytime we can get him. Second and six from the ten. Granford brings into play. Nine forty five left till the end of the game. Cranford calls the play, takes a snap, looking right. Scrambles, throws, that's Cottingham in the end zone, touchdown for Collins. Cottingham gaining ten yards and the touchdown. The Lampkins are on the board. Just when you thought there he was gonna tuck it and run, he pulls it back and hits Cottingham wide open in the end zone. And the Lampkins are on the board. Four Collins comes off for the extra point. Lopez is out tonight. Step is down. Kick is up and solid kick. Great hold by a professional holder, Jackson Tarver. And we have a flag. We may be doing this again. Oh, no. No, no flag, just a timeout for Fort Collins. Fort Collins wanted to get the ball with... Or they wanted to... I have so much time to go off the clock when they line up for the kick. 8.46 left in the game. Columbine 50, Fort Collins 7. Moral victories is what we're after tonight. Went right down the field on him that time and scored a touchdown. Get him off the zero and into the scoring column, which is nice. See if they go for the onside kick here. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibilities to go for the onside. Might as well give it a shot. Couldn't hurt. Might as well work on some stuff. I don't know if they will do it, but roll the dice. See what happens. And he kicks it away. It's going to go over his head. Maybe roll into the end zone. Touchback. Columbine will take over first and 10 from the 20-yard line. 8.46 left in the, until the end of the game. See if the Lincoln defense can get the Combine Rebels off the field this time. I'm sure there's going to be a steady dose of runs to chew up the clock and essentially try to give the Collins the ball back with no time left at all. See what happens. Clock winds and it starts. Combine will be in zero hurry to make a play. Looks like they got their third string quarterback in now. 
moving guys around on the offensive line. They have no running backs, it looks like. Well, they have two running backs, I couldn't tell. Hand off to the far guy. He's going to be up the gut, fighting for yards. He's going to gain about five or six. Gain of six. It's going to be second and four from the 26 yard line. Just under eight minutes left until the end of the game. Combine comes out with two running backs in an H back. It's going to pass. Down and out, caught. Should be enough for a first down. Harry Archuleta with a nice play out there. Knocked the ball free. Incomplete. Looked like he had it, and Archuleta knocked it free. Good play out there. Atta boy. Keep fighting. So they'll bring up third and four from the 26 yard line. Combine comes out. Let's see what they're going to line up. They're going to have one receiver on the near side. Two running backs and an H back. Running back looks over the defense. Ends the ball up to the second guy through. He's fighting. He's going to be short. He got close to the first down. It's going to bring a fourth and about two. Let's see if they punt. They may just go for it. Aaron Estrada on the tackle. Fourth and one. Looks like they're going to go. 6.30 left to the end of the game. And they are going for it. Two wide receivers, two running backs. Quarterback looks over the defense. Takes a snap. Takes a pitch. He's going to get strung on a little bit. Cuts back. Oh, he broke free. He's going to have enough for a first down. And he's gone. Somehow he snuck through there. And brings it all the way to the end zone. So Columbine goes about 71 yards for the their next score of the night. They got away with one. Their running back moved in the backfield. They didn't call it. Should have been a false start, but... What do you do? Took it. Looked like it's bobbled up. It looks like the Lakers are going to get him off the field for stopping him on fourth down, but he somehow got through the first wave of tacklers. And then when he got through the second level, it was, he was gone. So Columbine, 56, four Colin 7, with the extra point on the way. Step is down, kick is up, and looks pretty good, and it is. Five minutes left in the game. Four Collins is going to call timeout. Officially 4.58 until the end of the game. Columbine 57, four Collins 7. Unfortunately, it didn't matter who was on the field for Columbine tonight. First string, second string, or third string, they were getting big plays. But to be fair, Fort Collins had a fair amount of subs in there as well. So we'll see how they play the, their last. Essentially, their, this will be their last possession of the night, is my guess. Columbine to kick off. See if the Lampkins can put up a fight here and get another score. My guess is there's going to be a lot of second stringers coming in on this offensive possession, but we'll see. Don't want to get anybody hurt. The kick is going to be a little bit short and fielded at about the 15-yard line. Full head of steam he has. Cuts back. Dragging people. Now here comes Pail. Throws them down. And Fort Collins is going to bring out their second string, it looks like. 
So that's it for the starters. Clock runs at 4.40 left until the end of the game. Lampings will have first and 10 from the 30. Granados to the wide side. Looks like we have trips to the right of the quarterback. It's going to be a handoff right up the gut. Cuts back. He's got a lane. He's going. He could go all the way. Look at him go. Touchdown, Lampkin. Kevin Lozano goes 70 yards for the touchdown. He got the ball. He cut back. He found some space. And was Gonzo playing for pride. That's how we do it. 70 yards. Touchdown, Lampkins. With the extra point to come. 3.30 left in the game. Still essentially maybe the Lampkins' last possession of the night. But if that's the last possession, that's a great way to go out. 70 yard long run. Longest run I've seen in a couple years with Lampkins. Showed some speed. Got to the outside and was gone. Going for two are the Lampkins. Down and out, looking for Granados, incomplete. So with three minutes left in the game, it will be Columbine 57, Lampkins 13. Not a bad way to end the night for the Lampkins. The clock runs. There's 2.20 left until the end of the game. I doubt if Columbine's going to get very many plays off. Like I said, if that's going to be the last offensive play of the night for the Lampkins, so be it. That's how you go out. Squib kick. Went out of bounds. And Columbine will take over at about the 35-yard line. Clock still runs. We're under two minutes. Columbine has half a team out there. Looks like they need another half out there. Their line's out there, but they don't have anybody else. There must be seven kids in and out. Clock runs. Looks like they may have 11 out there now. They'll run one play at least. One or two plays and this will be it. That'll be it. Takes a snap. Second man through. Number 42. He's going to be hit down for a gain of maybe a yard or two. Lincoln's still fighting out there. They don't give up. And we have one minute left. Gain of a yard, it'll be second and nine from the 36. And this will be the last play of the game. Not sure if they're just going to down it or if they're going to actually run a play. Victory formation for the Rebels. One snap and this game's over. And there it is. So there you have it, folks. Your final score from Jeffco Stadium in Lakewood, Colorado. Columbine Rebels 57, Fort Collins Lampkins 13. Thanks for joining us tonight on the broadcast. We appreciate it. We'll see you again next week for sure. I'm not sure what we're looking at for volleyball for next week, but uh, we will definitely be here next Friday night as the Lampkins take on the Rocky Mountain Lobos. So stay tuned. Check your Twitter, check your Instagram for the announcement of when the game is. Unless you check Max, Max Preston, you already know. But anyway, we will be live at the next football game next Friday night at 7 o'clock. So thanks again for joining us on the Lampkin Sports Network. You've been watching us in association with Nyhawk Burgundy Productions. Have a great night over and out.